Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to learn how to actually perform a vector product. And there's actually two methods. So here's method one, and then later on in another video, we're going to show you method two with some examples. So method one, we have two vectors, vector A and vector B. This is typically how you write out the vectors. Each vector will have an X, a Y, and a Z uh, component. And so we indicate that with the direction I, J, and K. So when we perform a vector product, we can write A cross B or A vector B uh, as a matrix like this and the way we work out a matrix like this is as follows we, th we take the three unit vectors one at a time so we take a positive i a negative j and a positive k so we alternate the signs so this would be negative up oh, this will be positive negative and positive as we go along the matrix if there's more than three if there's more than three uh, components of course then you have plus minus plus minus plus you keep alternating the signs you'll see in just a moment why and then we're going to multiply each of these unit vectors times and you'll see in a moment what that actually is times something so you put parentheses down like that and what goes in the parentheses is the following so when we start out with unit vector i you then cross out this column and this row and you're left with these four elements right here then you multiply the cross elements a y times b z and subtract when you multiply a z times b y so what goes in here is you take the vector i you uh, you kind of cover this up and you cover this up you cover up this column in this row you're left with these four elements right here you multiply those two and then you subtract when you multiply those two so it becomes a y times b z minus a z times b y all right, so now we take our second unit vector, minus j. Remember, the signs alternate, so now it's minus j. Cross out this column, cross out this row. Now you end up with those four elements. So again, you multiply this element times this element, and then subtract when you multiply this element times this element. So ax, bz, minus az, bx. So this becomes ax times bz minus az times bx and finally when you take the k unit vector you cross out this column and this row so you're left with these four elements and again you multiply those two elements minus those two elements so ax times by minus ay times bx so this becomes ax by minus ay bx and that's how you find the cross product using this method now, of course, if you assume the following, that if A cross B is then going to be another vector, let's say it's going to be the C vector, then we can write C as being equal to C in the X direction, the component of C in the X direction, times the I vector, plus the component of C in the Y direction, times the J vector, plus the component in the Z direction, times the K vector. So that means that C sub X will be equal to this quantity right here. So this here will be C sub X. This quantity right here will correspond to the negative of C sub Y because it's negative right here. So this is, this quantity right here will be negative C sub Y. So it would be the Y coordinate of the resultant vector, the C vector. And then here, this quantity right here will then correspond to C sub Z. So this is the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and the Z coordinate of the resultant vector C. And of course, don't forget the minus sign for the middle one right there. And that's how we use this particular method to find the cross product. On the next video, we'll show an example of how to actually do that with real numbers. And then you can see how it works.